We made a video yesterday talking about Hasbro laying off over 1,100 workers and there are tough times that Hasbro is going through and that means Power Rangers and the brands that we love are going through these problems too. We are going to break down what is happening and how they can solve some of these problems, give you some of our ideas, and we want to listen to the fans out there. So let's get into the video. Hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! I can't do this on my own, because you know they I made a fake one. It seems like 2020 was yesterday and Hasbro and the toy market was booming. Nobody could keep some of these big collector items on the shelves. Well, now it is not like it was a few years ago. Times have changed. First of all, I need to welcome everyone to the show. I just kind of got out to it. The name's Brosdan Brosnan. If you're a Power Ranger fan or pop culture fan, you are in for a treat. Today, we are talking about Hasbro. And the market that we are in now is very tough. Fans do not have money to spend every single week on toys like we did. Children don't necessarily play with toys like they used to, but that is just the tip of the iceberg for problems at Hasbro, okay? We know they're laying off workers. We've known for a while that the next few years are going to be tough for Hasbro as a company, and it could get tough on Power Rangers, even though Power Rangers is making them some money, and they have seen some growth with the PR merch, the show, and whatnot, correct? In this episode, we are going to be talking about the things that we believe could bring Hasbro back. Now, if you compare Hasbro to Mattel, Mattel is just dwindling. They're up like 6%. They're barely breaking even, but they're up, man. They're treading water, at least. Hasbro is down 20%. It is tough, man. It's hard out here for a pimp, and I think that there are some things that we can do, the company can do, to change the forecast. So first of all, you look at Mattel, and the most obvious one is Mattel has Barbie. The Barbie movie made over a billion dollars, and it's just keeping them up above water, showing you the toy market is in a really bad place right now, and you have to be strategic and smart with what you're doing. It sucks that they're cutting jobs. I understand that, but I wish that they would have done a few other things before they changed their jobs. First of all, we got to get a big movie popping off. I know Transformers was good. We need another big one. I know G.I. Joe kind of shit the bed for y'all, but you need... A big name movie to make some money. You need to invest. But we don't know exactly what they're doing because Hasbro is trying to do everything all in-house. But then we don't really know what you are. You're like an entertainment company, a toy company. And the toys haven't been great. That's kind of like the second point is we need to improve on the toys. And I haven't played with all of them. I can just tell when you go take a walk through an Ollie's or a Ross, a TJ Maxx, a discount toy section, you are going to see a bunch of Hasbro stuff. And I mean a ridiculous amount of Hasbro merch from board games to Star Wars to Marvel figures. We have seen fans post pictures on Facebook of Power Ranger merch out there. Now, I don't see a lot of that in my area. I never barely see any Power Rangers stuff, but when I do for discounted, I jump on it. Power Rangers have been, been pretty good about not hitting the clearance section, but here we are. We've seen them spotted, and there is way too many Hasbro items in the clearance section 
That is not a good thing. Back in the day, that's how I knew the Saban toys weren't selling like that because I was able to get a bunch of Ninja Steel Rangers, Dino Charge Rangers for clearance. Like we're talking three to four bucks a piece. And I ended up popping off a whole Dino Charge collection back in the day because I got like 12 figures at three bucks a piece. It was actually a really good deal. But they don't do that no more. I don't see that at least at my targets, my Walmarts, my areas over here. Usually they get a set in, the fans take it, and it's gone. But some of these big brands, it just seems like they're not selling like they used to. And to my third point, and this is the big one, they need some new stuff. They need some original ideas, some new characters, something like... Every few years, Hasbro back in the day used to have, like, the big item, you know, from Furby to G.I. Joe to, you know, Transformers. They had a bunch of really big brands. My Little Pony. It just seems like there's nothing really new anymore. They put all their attention into kind of the collector stuff. But kids aren't really buying the stuff that's out or wanting the stuff that's out because... Sometimes I don't feel like it's fully marketed towards them. A lot of the times it's marketed towards collectors like us. They need a new idea, a new concept that gets kids back into it. Now that's easier said than done, right? Obviously, original ideas are the best, but they're the toughest because they look real stupid until they blow up. Like how many people told Haim Saban and even Stan Lee when he tried to do it that like the Power Rangers concept adapting Super Sentai would not work in America, right? Ended up being the number one hit show in the early 90s. So it, it's not really cool until it's cool, correct? But original characters and storylines are always great, man. We love that. Some of the biggest shows in the past 10 years were big original shows like your Paw Patrols. Why don't you come up with something like that? Come up with a big preschool show that the kids love and you can make some money off of, but it has to be good, right? It can't just be your cash cow because you want to make money off it. Someone has to have a good idea. And those original ideas are what it is about. And something new, something refreshing. It seems like all of the toys and a lot of the things they're really pushing are things we already know and have had for the last 15 to 20 years, which the collectors love. As a Power Ranger fan, I love going out and checking out Power Ranger stuff. But it seems like there's an overkill on Star Wars stuff. There's an overkill on Marvel. And, like, they're not even selling a lot of the main characters no more. Like, Luke Skywalker, C-3PO, uh, Captain America, Thor, Black Panther. We're seeing all of these characters at Ollie's. And then a small section of Power Rangers. So, I don't understand, really, everything that's going on. I know that fans are being picky and choosy what they're watching, what they're purchasing. And I know that we're kind of in this market right now where there's some fans where they'll be like, Hasbro's gone woke, Disney's gone woke. I believe every show is kind of going to try to put their opinion of the director of the writers into it. It happens. And I don't really jump ship because they try to write one way or put something in, anything like that. The thing that I will say, though, is we have to continue to work on quality of product. If you give me a movie that has all of your super progressive stuff in it, but it's a really good movie, I'm going to watch it and love it. Like, I don't really care what you're trying to push in it. If it's a good movie, it's a good movie. If you push your opinion in it and the movie's not that good, that's all people are really going to focus on, and that's where, you, you know, the whole Disney's gone woke, quote unquote, thing is came from. It's because a lot of their stuff is flopping and it's it's so so. And the fans and people and the haters are killing it. We don't really cover that stuff on this show because anything and everything could be called woke these days. I don't really like that. If you enjoy something, you enjoy it. And I don't, I'm not going to sit here and tell you you can't enjoy something because the character is this way or that way. Like, I think that's quite stupid. However, 
you don't want that negative light where if you push out something that's so so or, or not very good and that's all you're working on is just to push the issue and the agenda that's where the fans are going to get you that's why so many people have kind of turned against disney and i don't want that to happen to hasbro i'm a huge fan of what they've done with power rangers and i think there's things that need to be worked out and ironed out and things like that to put I think the future is bright for the brand of Power Rangers, but Hasbro, we've got a dark cloud over us and we've got uh, a lot of things we have to figure out in the next few years. Um, there's still money to be made. They have a lot of big brands. I think they need to resuscitate the whole situation. Like they need to stop, take a break, and really get things going maybe spend way less on what they've been doing on these toys like the whole point is to sell out the point is not to sell out at ollie's or ross and i don't know how so many of these stores have hundreds and hundreds of these items on stock like it's it's quite crazy what is going on behind the scenes I know like the CEO Chris Cox took over and some people like what he's done. Some people don't like what he's done. I think right now though, it's tough for everybody. I think that no matter who is here was going to be presented a challenge. I just don't think that they've generated a huge heavy hitter and the fans are starting to kind of turn. So some fans out there that don't really rock with Hasbro like they used to. From my Dungeons and Dragons fans, they're not very happy. To my Beyblade friends out there, they've told me they're not very happy. Power Rangers fans as a whole don't hate Hasbro. They have their haters, but they got to get the company together and these are a few things that you could do some of them are obvious like a big movie it's easier said than done to release that original ideas but i think the big one is the spending and figuring out how we stop getting all of these damn figures on the discount shelves now maybe there's something we don't know that they're really making money off of that maybe there's a thing that they have a deal worked out with ross where it actually because they and i'm just making this up but what if they take advantage of some loophole or tax incentive like a write-off something right maybe this works for them but i it's not a good look it doesn't look good logistically it doesn't pass the eye test right when you walk in to a discount store and all of the stuff is hasbro it doesn't make you feel like hasbro is in a good place financially i don't know man the discount rack is not where you want to be as consumers we love it i love the discount rack but sometimes you start to figure out what sells and what doesn't sell by the discount rack and when you're looking through you know the clearance aisle you see a lot of brands and things that are on their last wave like that's it because they didn't meet their quota they the rest of them ended up in clearance and then they're discontinuing the product or the line or whatever right this is interesting and i mean we're already in a weird place where we have stores but not that many anymore so it does suck that when you walk into a discount store, there's hundreds and hundreds of Hasbro items that needs to be fixed. I want them to continue to create new characters, original characters, and what they have already just continue to create good storylines, man. There are so many things that can be done with these IPs that you have, but I just remind you to make good storylines don't worry about the opinions and what you think people want and what's working politically oh well politics say i need to put this in here the politics say to put this in here like nah don't even think about that create a good story that's what the fans want i'm telling you and if it's original that's even better it's as basic as this if you can create something good and you have the firepower 
you could definitely push it out. The problem is it seems like Hasbro is doubling down on everything that they once had, but it's not getting the love like it once was a few years ago. So do I think they need to slow down and figure out what fans really want? Yes, I love Hasbro. Yeah, I have sometimes I get pissed at shit that they do, but at the same time, this is a channel where we're always positive and we want the best because we realize that like if Hasbro goes down, Power Rangers goes down. If they're not able to have the money to put stuff out, what do you think's going to happen to us? Because we're not even like the third option. We're like the fourth, fifth, sixth option for Hasbro when it comes to big brands on the roster, right? We're like the sixth man. We come in and run you up some numbers, but we are not comparable to Transformers, even like My Little Pony or anything like that. Should I see more advertisements for Monopoly and Monopoly Go than I ever do for Power Rangers since the whole time that they've owned it, right? It's crazy. But I want to hear from you guys. This is not to roast Hasbro. This is to get better. This is to learn and maybe... There's some things I don't know about that we can talk about in the comments. And now it is your guys' turn. I want to listen to you guys. Let's see what the fans are talking about. Samurai Spirited said, are Power Rangers, Transformers, and other popular properties in trouble? I don't think they are in full trouble mode. We have not hit the panic button but we know that there are some difficult waters ahead. It's going to be rocky. We don't know exactly what's going to happen with the Power Rangers reboot at this point, though. Like, what? This is just another roadblock. It's like we keep going down this street, then that's closed off. We turn around, we go down another street, that's closed off. Like, at what point do we just give up on this trip? I don't know. Joseph said, if this affects Power Rangers, does it mean they may push the reboot back more? Or are they going to try to make it like they have with the other Rangers shows by adopting a Sentai? That would be cool, man. I would like a Sentai show at this point. Just give me some Power Rangers, dude. We don't know what's going to happen. I mean, the way that they were shooting was pretty cheap. Uh, I don't know. Call up some Power Ranger execs. Get some things going. Davin said this may be due to weak toy sales. Oh, yeah. I mean, if the toy sales were good, they'd be hiring more people. There'd be more things to do. But yeah, the toy sales are as, as low as they can be at this point. I mean, they can always get worse. But man, it, it sucks. And it's not going to get any better. Like what other big Hasbro projects do we have coming out that can really make them some money? I guess that's something we'll have to look up. Savage Style said, that's not good. That means putting out product will take longer. Come on, Hasbro. You got to get back to square one, back to the basics, do what actually works and stop experimenting. It's making those who watch for decades upset. Yeah, things are happening behind closed doors that we hope everything gets ironed out we don't know and a hey, if things don't get better how long do you think chris cox stays around that's another question right i hate these type of videos because we just like to talk about the positive stuff we don't like the negative stuff but there's negative stuff happening and it's affecting the brand. So like you're not getting any Power Rangers stuff. Why is that happening? Why don't we have any Power Rangers news? Well, this is why. Kivon said, Hasbro better cut the woke shit out before they destroy the company and every brand they possess. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like there's going to be so many people that don't like really the way that they're doing business and they're going to blame it on the woke stuff. Even though there's a bunch of business things happening behind closed doors that they're not doing good at be because people feel like they're um, forcing their opinions down their throats, but not giving them anything good. That's the first damn thing they think of because that's how they feel. And it's crazy. I was just saying this, like if I don't even really care, you won't see me making a video about the woke stuff because it's everywhere. I don't like... It doesn't matter what show you watch. I feel like somebody liberal, conservative, someone is trying to put their opinion in the show. That's why like 
my opinion is usually just about what we're talking about. I don't put any politics in my stuff, but even when I'm talking about business, I'm talking about this, I bet some way the way that I think gets put in there, right? It's just the way it is. So even if I, it's unintentional, you guys still pick up the way that I think in the video, right? In some of these things they put out, you're going to pick up the way that the writer is thinking and feeling and stuff. So like, I don't really care too much about it, but when the content isn't that great, when you're not giving us anything great, that's going to go back to you're going woke, you're going broke, the whole Disney thing. And it's a real concept right now. Some fans don't really like that. That's why I... I don't get wrapped up in any of that stuff. I just brought it up because I've been seeing a lot of videos, articles, comments where like at least a quarter of the content is about that, of how they're suffering because of it. Now, I think there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes. I don't think it's just because of the, the ideologies and the things they're putting in their shows. I don't think that's it. I think there's a lot of other things but that just doesn't help. That's the thing that gets talked about, though. That's kind of what I want to go back to. And then when you're reading the comments 11 hours ago, like Hasbro better cut the woke shit. Like that's what the fans are saying, man. And you can't kill the messenger. I'm so glad that I had a comment to read. So like fans don't think I'm making anything up. This is real. If you go to a video that I put out yesterday, uh, what was it called? Uh, Hasbro lays off nearly 20% of its workers. There are comments talking about this, but what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day. There's a few things on here we talked about we don't normally get into, but that's okay. We're not really going to hover around this too much, but this is affecting Power Rangers, so we had to talk about it. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Peace. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Miguel Ortiz, Let's Talk Sports, Papillon Orger, Roderick Ham, Louis Cairns, Salima Ramirez, Danny Nascimento, Stephen Heffelman, Thomas Franco, and Sean Schiffer. Thank you guys again for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger Power Up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. Skull. We, we have been requested, requested by, by the, the fan club, club to say something funny. funny.